Yo, it's your boy Bite, and today I'll be cooking y'all dinner, and I'm gonna prepare y'all some blackened salmon. Yes, sir. I'm gonna do some asparagus, fresh asparagus, a little black pepper salt. Probably do some jasmine, yeah, jasmine rice. Do some fresh sweet corn with a little honey and brown sugar. You already know, we ain't gonna get all in my business. Every day ain't no tequila day. Wink, wink. Yes, it is. But look, I'm gonna go all like that right there. You're supposed to twist the bottle. Ain't they say you gotta twist the bottle? <laughs> no. I'm gonna do my rice first. My rice. You need a pot with a top on it, right? So about like a cup and a half of water. Look, I like kind of learned learn this on my own type shit. I'm good at it. I ain't gonna brag, but I'm pretty good at it. Look, one and a half. This is gonna be the best white rice you probably ever taste. I'm just be honest. I'm gonna get some olive oil, and they always be, you know, want to use measurements and stuff. But unfortunately, your boy bike was never a measuring ass nigga, right? So look, I just dropped me like a little bit up in there. Just a little bit. I said that's about like a cap full. I'm really one of the goats up in the kitchen, so I figured out, all right, man, we might as well go and let them in. On this ain't for nobody but me, this meal right here. That's really more than what I eat, but I'm gonna cook that still, about that many. Say, you know that part hard. You don't want that part, that hard ass shit. You don't want that shit. You gonna cut that off. You really should rinse these out too. Make sure they ain't no loose dirt or nothing up in that shit. Right, wait, drop a look with my asparagus. These thin, these not gonna cook as long as I was thinking. But, so I'ma just, I'ma still drop them. I'ma drop them. I'd rather have them done than not done. Look, so, bad. Everybody got their own amount of seasoning. Some people are like, that's too much, that's too little. All right, so I'ma try to be cute for y'all. I get that what y'all wanna say. I'ma be cute for y'all. But really, I be dropping shit on my shit. I ain't gonna cap. Look, these really the main little seasonings I do on some shit like this. Cause this gonna come out the oven, get on the plate. So really how it look while it's cooking, it ain't gonna really hurt it. But say like, let me do one more little drizzle. I just gotta get that shit somehow to, you feel me, get a coat on all of it. Yeah, so I'm gonna drop these in the oven at like 400, probably for like 15 minutes. Really. This is something that I taste while I'm cooking it. Like I bite one of these bitches out of nowhere to make sure it's where I want it. Jasmine rice, my favorite rice too, by the way. I be seeing people say clean it and clean off your rice and you gonna be in there cleaning. I don't be up in there eating. You know, bro. Fuck man. Yeah. So say look, that's like, about like one cup of rice, you see? My water boiling, so look, I'm gonna pour that rice in there. Every time I'm gonna tell y'all this, cause y'all don't know how to cook, I knew it. Use a wooden spoon, use a wooden spoon. Now you're gonna stir that, all right? You're gonna get it to a boil, or you want that shit to like start back boiling before you put that top on it. So that stir really don't count, cause it ain't boiled. All right, now we back boiling. You see we boiling. I'm gonna stir that. I'm so used to using the gas stove. These things do not work the exact same. You see, got it to a boil, as hot as it can get. Top on, put it on to low. I like fresh corn better than canned corn. I was raised on canned corn, but as you get older, you start like fresh and stuff, so like, I prefer uh, um, corn on the cob because it's like you, you know it's real. So you going, which way I'll do it. I'll probably come like this. You don't want to get too deep in the kernel. Sometimes I'm going to accidentally go too deep in the kernel, but you don't want to get so deep in the kernel that you got hard pieces on your corn. That shit going to fuck it up. So look, you kind of want to like go in the angle as the shape of the corn. That was a bad cut. Bad cut. Look. This one ain't. I'd rather be too little though than too deep in the corn. Cause like I say, when you get too deep in the corn, your corn start having like hard pieces on it. So one second, so look. This is what you got, fresh corn. We're gonna what you need now for your corn. This is my method, like a quick method. Look, it dropped me a good good amount of that on there. 
good, good. It ain't no certain way to do this. You just gotta do it. You feel me? As long as it all get in the pot and the shit get to cooking, it's gonna come out good. Make sure that piece ain't in. That's all just pieces off the corner. So you can clean up while you making salmon and rice. You making some gumbo or something or some fried rice or some type of somewhere just where you just gotta stay in the kitchen. But as y'all can see what we got going. I'm finna drop me some honey in. Some honey in. Some brown sugar up on this, right? But look, just like, there's no requirements to how much honey you need. It's no requirements, but say like that right there, that'll give you a good sweet content. Then it's a little bit, but you can taste it as you do it, like if you want more. And it's gonna, that brown sugar gonna also give it a little, that brown sugar gonna also give it a little bit of um, color too. So that's pretty much all you really need. Really, but yeah, if you cook for your girl, you probably could drop a little parsley flakes or something for some color or something, but it ain't gonna do too much. But you see what I got going on now. It's really all I do for this corn. Not too much, not too less. Oh look, I got like five minutes left for my food. I'm gonna do my salmon, cause salmon don't take none but seven, eight minutes max. This is one of the easiest things to cook in the world, salmon. And it still got the flakes on it, like they didn't scale it or nothing, so I ain't finna scale it. I ain't catch this motherfucker. Now, if this was a filet knife, this would work way better. I look like a professional, but I'm gonna put it to the edge of this board. And I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to that meat, gliding it. Like this, you feel me? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna really do nothing with the knife. You ain't pushing down. You're not pulling up. How you doing is just gliding back and forth, back and forth until you got all your meat off. Yo, what's the name? You feel me? Now, while I throw that to the cat or something, you got a cat. I don't like cats. But you can get that to the cat. The cat gonna fuck with it. So you need another pan for your salmon. Salmon. All you really need is a little olive oil, light seasoning. I'm a, I'm a salt and pepper person, as y'all can see. I'm not a sweet person. Like, my vegetable can be sweet, and that's done as I'm speaking about it. And I know how we come. We done. Don't done. You really can take them off if you don't want them to overcook. Cause like, right now, they still got a little crunch to them. Tell me, we gonna do this real quick, like. So look, you can use, but I'd rather use this. Bet, I could put more. That shit ain't gonna hurt it. Bet, front. Get your oil hot. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna season, season the other side on the stove. But like, and a little black pepper too. Black pepper always. Wake up flavor to me, black pepper. Bet, and that's all I really do on there, right there. Bet, we're gonna get that, by that pan hot, you want it to sizzle when it touch that shit, you feel me? So, now I got it hot, I bring it down for it ain't steady climbing. You remember I always say you don't want it steady climbing while you cooking, but. And I feel like the prettier you set it down, the prettier it's gonna look. If you just smack it, that shit is not gonna, I can get that seasoning. Look, that's an old trick right there. You get that seasoning off the board for the other side too. Look, look, it's, it's a little flavor on that other one. I could drop a little bit more on that one, but this blackened seasoning is the main seasoning to me for my salmon. Cause like I said, I don't, I don't put a sweet glaze. So I just need like to taste like a little salt spice to it. Oh, babe, I'm, oh, babe, that's a real good Cajun season. I put this on all seafood, any seafood. It don't matter if it's salmon, crawl, I don't cook crawfish, cause they don't got them fresh down here. But any seafood, I'm gonna do that now. Look, keeping that grease going in now. Pick it up now. It been cooking for about like two minutes. My rice done too, so this. As it cool off, it's just gonna get better and better. You see? It's perfect, it's fluffy, it's not sticking together. As it cool off though, it's gonna just get better and better and better. Like, look, it's hot, so 
remember that's a little thick piece of meat, so it's going, you want it to basically, you don't want to have to flip salmon so many times. Just like try to get it done halfway through on the bottom and then flip it and let it do the same from the other side and it's going to meet and it'll be perfect. You, if you're not sure on your doneness, like you scared, you might preheat your oven, cook it on both sides, throw it in the oven for like one minute to check just to be sure. But you really ain't got to do that because salmon better when it's like a little under than over to me. I'm going to flip this one though. I'm gonna flip what I'm gonna do with this. But, you know, see it's got a little golden, golden Cajun crust, you see it? Right there. Oh, let me flip one more time. I just dug in that one. I hate when I, I like food to look perfect on the plate. Like that right there, that shit, I get a pet peeve over this type of shit, that little line right there. But if I was cooking for somebody else, I'd eat that one and get them the pretty one. You get them? Corn done. Rice done. That bitch gonna be so good. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna get my plate ready. This ain't no this ain't no time consuming meal. Like you can make it real quick. It's not like soul food. You can make this for like as many people as you want. You can do it all the same speed, just like if you're making it for so many people, just throw it in the oven so you can do a whole pan worth of them, you feel me? But give you my rice, I will go like this. I'll make sure it's in there. And the cooler it get, the less sticky it's gonna be. So like, the cooler you let it sit for, the, it ain't steaming no more, it's not gonna be sticky at all. But like, that's still perfect. You want it to stick a little bit, especially jasmine rice, you want it to stick a little bit. Now this is what I will put on my plate right here. Well, Please, whoever I'm trying to feed. So I would say him like that. Coat it in that oil, cause that oil gonna make it look better. But they thin, so they probably could have cooked like a, a minute shorter, or two minutes shorter. Like, like just for to give you that wow. Then, do what you gonna see. Anything you didn't like in my video, you weren't gonna see it. Do what you gonna see right here. Hey, baby. You hungry, baby? That man, yeah. I'm finna get this shit a taste. <laughs> Don't tell nobody I did that. But look, there you have it though. This little bite, dinner with a little bite, salmon lip. Mm. I stole your bitch with that one. I, I was trying not to bring up your bitch this time. This will take your bitch type meal right here. She gone, oh. Little red wine, and that's how you do it. We good.